Oh, hi there. How's it going? Um, another day, another Starlink unboxing video. Um, I don't expect much, but I thought I would uh, share this moment with you in case, uh, you know, it's a new revision. There must be um, something different. Uh, anyways, watch this video to find out. Okay. I am finding out what's inside with you. Oh, God. It's such a good feeling, to be honest with you. Okay. So, the same thing so far. Three main steps. You basically point the dish connected to this power brick and then to the Starlink router and then you can find it in the application. Ah. <laughs> this is it. It does feel like the first time. Regulatory notice. That's the tripod. I'm not gonna be using it just because I don't have the space for it. Yeah, I love that fact everything is pre connected already. And I'm gonna measure the length of these cables um, to let you know exactly how long they are. This is really beautiful. It's a really tiny router. It really looks nice. I don't see anything different. So yeah, we'll uh, set it up and uh, hopefully we'll do some speed testing as well. So this is the uh, power supply and honestly I think this is both the power supply and the modem. Um, here's the uh, information about it. Yeah. Okay, so I was trying to I was trying to measure the length of this cable and the way I did it I measured 150 centimeters and I put a red tape and then I did that again you can see it here and then I just kept folding it over and over and the amount of 150 centimeter segments um, I have basically 22 and a half segments um, so that adds up to um, 3,375 uh, centimeters Got the uh, Starlink mounting um, hardware for installing the uh, dish on a pole. And I'm just gonna open it. Show you. This is it. This is 30 bucks, it's really heavy. Comes with a bag, I think this is the bag that you can use to carry the actual dish with you. It's pretty cool. You gotta have a better shot in this, but this is really expandable. As you can see, it's, it's kind of big. Put it here and then tie it up with this. And use this strap to carry it with you. Pretty cool. 
More on the box. More hardware. This is for the for routing the cable. It's a lot of them. Some documentation. Pipe adapter. So you'll, you'll have to buy this uh, separately. I have this pole right here, and I'm planning to use this pipe adapter as the mount instead of the tripod. What I did here, I basically cut um, the edge of it so it's flat, and then I used uh, a saw to basically cut around so you have place for this to fit. It's barely fits but that's perfect and uh, yeah I will uh, put this together drew some holes put this uh, the screws that came with it and then hopefully put the dish on top I'm a little bit worried about this uh, not providing enough clearance but hopefully hope that's okay yeah there is no obstruction to the sky except this tree is not a big deal yeah I'll uh, keep you guys posted uh, hey so this is uh, this cruise that came with it I want to make sure it doesn't fall it has a pointy tip as you can see which which uh, it's gonna help dig into the wood as you can see here it's a little bit raining but if the rain bothers you then Pacific Northwest uh, not the right place for you for sure. So I did have some uh, pilot holes here with the drill and then I'm just gonna gently screw these screws and these are uh, size 11 by the way yeah it's very easy so far so good. So this is it I didn't want to screw this all the way in I just don't know how old this piece of wood is and um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want these screws to damage it. And it's a tight fit to begin with, so I just wanted to hold it in place. So there are only six screws, so give it a nice good grip. Now I will uh, take this dish out and I'm going to use the bag that came with the pipe adapter. Uh, to carry it with me and then uh, gonna go set it up okay so this is it I wasn't sure how this is gonna hold it looks really weak but I did my best here we go put this around my chest and look at this is it ready to go and set it up and Hopefully there are no surprises. <laughs> this is the Starlink dish installed and I'll have to take this apart and connect it and uh, off we go. That's it, looking sharp. All right, I'm gonna be uh, I've connected the Starlink and hopefully it will be moving and it doesn't hit that wall near it. <sighs> hopefully everything will be good to go. Oh, here we go. Please. I heard something, but I hope we... But that wasn't a problem. Pointing to the sky now. Hopefully this tree doesn't Alright, the cable is loose. So I'm actually renting my place so I can't drill holes in the walls. Um but I'm gonna 
wrap the cable through the window and I'm going to design and 3D print um, a window adapter thingy that will give space for the cable to go in just the right amount and will keep the window closed as tight as possible. I'll uh, walk you through this hopefully later today. So I got my uh, caliper. Let me just zero that. And I'm going to be measuring the width of the cable. So it's seven millimeters. Which is a little bit over a quarter of an inch. Okay, so this is the first version of the window um, adapter. So I'm just gonna do uh, a tiny one, just just for a test for now. And uh, yeah, once it works, then I could print the rest and uh, fill up the whole gap. But the cable is gonna be running through here, and this is gonna be in the in the female side, and this is gonna be in the male side of the window. The first version has been printed successfully. I'm going to remove the support materials and test it out and let you know. Okay, so this is it. This is the uh, connector installed. Of course, I'm going to print it across the entire window, but um, I noticed a few things. So, uh, the, sorry, the cable fits properly, like it's definitely the right size. Also, uh, also fits snug this side um, inside the window that is uh, let me show you something there is this bar here it's um, causing the flat surface to not close properly but uh, at least you can see the cable is definitely the right size. I think I'm gonna design it into two sections instead of one piece. Uh, one is gonna attach to this side of the window and the other one is the other side and the cable in between. Okay, so this is the final version uh, of the tool. And I just want to show you what it looks like and I decided to make it uh, two parts this part and this part and I'll show you so this is the original uh, design but then um, I ran into a problem where so this block can't fit because there is a notch so I d designed this piece alone with with the notch based on what I was able to see I, I couldn't measure the distances so I had to uh, try multiple times actually yeah until I finally figured out exactly the look of this notch so each, each one of these was a way to test it out and finally this is the final version so I made this much thicker, as you can see here, like, this is so tiny. So this is much thicker, and I did a chamfer and also fill it, um, since this will guide the uh, window into this opening. And I yeah, separated this, so it's going to be like that. So if I were to, yeah, this would have to be lifted a little bit, and... This way, if you look at it from the top, this is the hole for the cable to come through, and yeah, this is the notch. The window goes here. I'll I'll show you. But uh, this is a perfect size for the the cable. Let me show you how it snaps into it. Okay, so check this out. 
this is the uh, Starlink cable, and this is the thing that I designed, and check this out. Please tell me you heard the sound it made. And I, again. <laughs> you hear? It's just so satisfying. Yeah, it's really stuck. And then this comes in here. Allows the cable to go through. This is the draft mode, so I'm gonna 3D print it in a higher resolution later. So this is it. Put the back here and... That's it. Of course I'll have to 3D print, like, all of that. But now I don't have to drill a hole in the wall and this will secure the window. I I might 3D print uh, like a rubber uh, on the sides just to act as a gasket. Uh, or maybe I think I might use just uh, hot glue uh, just because uh, 3D printing uh, TPU is uh, super hard. Okay, this is my desk and this is the router and I'm gonna connect it using Ethernet and show you the speed tests.